Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really would love it if you would stick around for a while. So if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. So I did a giveaway recently. Stephanie won my giveaway. Big shout out to her. Thank you so much. She is a subscriber of mine since the beginning. She often shares my videos on her Instagram and comments and likes all, almost all of my videos. So I really do appreciate you, Stephanie. I'm so glad that you won this Christmas giveaway. Today's video is an unboxing. Obviously, you guys know that because of the title. But before I get into the unboxing, I do want to share a tiny little backstory. I will try to keep it short and sweet for you guys and not talk too long because I know that we are all here to see what I picked up. So if you guys saw my last Bottega Veneta unboxing, I was torn between three different style bags. I was torn between the padded cassette bag, the padded cassette bag with the chain, and one other style of bag, which was the pouch bag with the chain on it. So I was torn between those three. I really like the style of all three of them. Out of the three, my favorite based off of looks is the padded cassette bag with the chain. But when I buy my bags, I try to be very, very practical about it. Which bag am I going to use the most? Which one am I going to get my money's worth? So I ended up getting the padded cassette bag without the chain. The chain on the padded cassette bag is about it's like 10 pounds it's very very heavy so i just didn't foresee myself grabbing that bag too often because i am a comfort kind of a lady i like my comfort so i got the padded cassette bag without the chain no regrets i absolutely love it um the only thing about that bag if you guys are torn about purchasing that bag is it holds very very little so if you are a minimalist that bag is perfect for you um it's not an everyday bag for me because it doesn't hold enough so that's that's the t on that that bag but ever since i got that bag i've been thinking about the pouch bag and so i didn't get the bag that i was thinking about before spoiler alert but anyways back to the story i was thinking about the pouch bag and i couldn't get it off my mind and the reason why I didn't or I haven't purchased it is because of practicality. Am I going to be able to use it? Well, again, I haven't gotten it off my mind. So I was considering it again. And then Alana Davison posted this photo right here. I'll give you a second to look at that photo. That photo is beautiful enough to make anybody run out and buy that bag. And I reminded myself of that. Melissa, just because Alana Davison looks beautiful carrying the bag does not mean it's practical and it does not mean you're going to use it. But then she came out with a video. She's not a luxury bag um, YouTuber. She doesn't talk about that much. She mostly talks about makeup and fashion. But she came out of, with a video on her luxury bag collection. And of course, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to see what she says about this bag. So I watched it very excitedly watched the video two or three times to be honest and the pouch bag that she has she said not only is it comfortable she uses it all the time it is comfortable to hold and it's more practical than she thought it was going to be but she also says that if she had unlimited money she would run out and buy every single color in that bag. And honestly, guys, it sold me. As soon as she said that she uses it all the time and it's practical and she uses it a lot more than she thought she would, I had to add one to my collection. So right down here, I have something to share with you guys. I went to Bottega Veneta. This is a Christmas present. To myself here we have Bottega Veneta the beautiful green bag if you guys saw my last video you know that here in Arizona they don't give a box I don't know if that's true everywhere I I haven't found very many Bottega Veneta bag unboxing unboxing videos on YouTube so um, I'm not sure if that's true for everywhere but here is the string is stuck here is the bag I'm going to put this on the floor so that it's not blowing out the lighting. Here is the 
Bottega Veneta bag. In true fashion, it is so buttery soft. It literally feels like a winter hoodie. You know what, guys? Do you guys know, does Bottega Veneta make a, a hooded sweatshirt or even just a soft sweatshirt with maybe just their Bottega Veneta logo on it? Do you guys know, do they? If they do and you know about it, link it down in the comments below because I definitely would get a ton of use about that. I'm not big on branding with clothing or branding at all, but with clothing, I'm really not big on it. But if they made a sweater that looked just like this, it would be my perfect sweater. Super, super buttery soft. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. What color do you guys think I got? You already know what bag it is because it's the same bag that Alana Davison got. But what color do you think it is? Give you guys a second. My last one was the parakeet green. Okay. Okay, I'm so excited to show with you, share with you guys. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh, look at that blue, you guys. It's stunning. Oh, look at that. So here we have the beautiful woven pouch bag. It only comes in one, it, well, it comes in this large size and then it comes in the mini size with the strap. I did look at that one as well. And spoiler alert, I do plan on adding that one to my collection one day, but not today. Look at the color. Here we have the side view. The top. And no feet on the bottom. Let me get it a little closer so you guys can see the woven detail on there. Look at that color. I could not find the color of this bag online. It's not that turquoise blue, it's lighter than that. So I'm not sure. It's coming up pretty true to color on camera, maybe a tiny bit darker than it actually is in person. No, it's about true, it's coming on true. So it's like a brighter blue. It's not the real light baby blue that they have and it's not that deeper, darker blue. I could not find this color online anywhere. So I'm not sure what it's called. My last Bottega Veneta bag came in a bag with all the details on it. This one didn't, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's on the authenticity card. I'll have to check for you guys. Okay, so if you open her up, this is how she opens up. It's mag it, I think there is a magnet in it and there's a metal rod right here. So right here, so that's what makes it comfortable to hold because you hold on to this metal rod that's in the top. So it's kind of like having a top handle for your hands, but without showing the top handle because this whole thing is like a handle. So you could hold it like that, you could hold it like that, but you open it up. Yeah, I've got some stuffing in it, hardly any though. And look how big. I'll, I'll put it next to my head so you guys can see. That is big. That is a big opening. There's a lot of room in here. So I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful bag to add to my collection. I have nothing else like it. I can drink of my coffee real quick. Okay, so I have brought out my Pochette Matisse. That's the bag that I use on an everyday bag. Basis. It's kind of like my workhorse bag. It's the one that I bring to work with me all the time. I have brought that out so that I can show you guys what fits. Well, not what fits, but all my daily essentials. Do my daily essentials fit inside of this bag? So here is my pochette Matisse. Again, this is not a comparison and I'm not showing you everything that fits in here. I'm just showing you guys do my daily essentials fit in here. I will later on do a video on my first impressions let me know down in the comments everything you want me to talk about in that first impressions video if you want me to talk about measurements if you want me to talk about cost if you want me to talk about price or cost and price are the same thing dumb Melissa. if you want me to do a comparison if you want me to talk about how comfortable it was if you want me to talk about wear and tear if you want me to show you what fits in there if you want me to show you what fits in there, let me know what items you're interested in seeing if they fit in here. So all those questions, leave them down below so that I can better answer that and do a better video for you guys. But here we have Chet Matisse. I just wanna show you guys comparison really quick in size so that you can see how this stuff fits in my Pochette Matisse, which is my everyday bag compared to my 
new patty cassette bag. No, not patty cassette. <laughs> new pouch bag. I don't know why I keep calling it that. Okay, so here is my push-up Matisse. I do have a video on this bag. I will link it down below for you guys. Here's everything that's inside. So you can see it's decently full. It's not packed full though. I don't usually have a lot of essentials. So here is the bag empty right here. So I'm literally just going to take everything out of here and put it in here. So I've got my sunglasses here. You guys know I don't go anywhere without these. I love, 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 love my sunglasses. I cannot stand to be outside without sunglasses on. It hurts my eyes. Okay, anyway, sunglasses, they fit right in there with tons of room. My face mask, my wallet. This is my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. If you guys are on the hunt for a good wallet, I highly recommend this one. Let me just quickly show you guys an overview. Here it is here. You can see it's got a middle compartment here. This is where I keep my ID and my main credit card. This is where I put like my store cards and then I put my credit cards right here. Cash fits right in here perfectly fine. You don't have to fold it up four times. You can just fold it up twice and it fits right in there or you can fold it up four times. And then I have change that fits right there and it zips up and it's just been perfect for me. So right in there. My, okay, now I have a bunch of knickknacks. I'm just gonna grab a handful of them and pull them out. So I have my Josie Maron, I can't say it right, Marion Maron, uh, whipped argan oil butter, ultra high riding, high, ultra hydrating. I love this stuff. It's a bit oily, so I honestly don't recommend this as a purse hand lotion because if you put this on and then you touch your bag it might leave some oil residue so I don't recommend it for your purse but I do recommend it for your desk for your nightstand for everything else love this one stomach medicine as I've mentioned and you guys know I have some stupid stupid stomach issues my stomach hurts probably three times a week I wake up with a stomach ache and I can't I can't live without these lipstick this is my everyday kind of go-to lipstick for me. It's just a MAC lipstick. It's, this one I like to call my emergency lipstick. I just keep it in my purse. No matter what I'm wearing, this will go with it. It is the Run for the Heels Cream Sheen Lipstick by MAC. So let me show you guys a little closer. So here we go. I've got another lipstick. This is from Sephora. This is the L21. This is also like a cream sheen formula. Really, really have been enjoying this one, but these are not long lasting. They wear off pretty quickly. I've got a plug, tampon, I call them plugs. Um, and then the Vanel Fa Fatal, Fatal perfume sample. I've been testing that out to see if I wanna buy it. My keys, a chapstick and this EOS chapstick is the best, guys. If you haven't, mm, if you haven't bought this one, buy it. It's the green one. I don't know what it's called. And then the Tom Ford uh, Tobacco Vanilla perfume sampling that one as well. And then my agenda. So let's put that in there. So now I have everything in here. You can see there's just tons of room left in here show you that this one is empty now okay so now that I've got this bag full or not full but with all of my essentials I do feel the weight on my hand I don't feel like it will be uncomfortable if I was going out to dinner or um, even just running to maybe doing a short shopping trip I don't think it's going to be uncomfortable if I was doing a long shopping trip I would not carry this bag. If I'm going out shopping for the whole day, I will not carry this bag. Um, date nights, definitely. Oh gosh, you guys, I just, I just love it. It is so, so beautiful. Okay, so let me quickly show you guys some mod shops, mod shots before I wrap up this video. Okay, so if I were to carry this bag handheld, this is how it looks, or if I'm carrying it down, by my side 
it does feel very, very comfortable. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then if I were to carry it under my arm, this is extremely comfortable. This, if I were shopping or going out all day long, this is how I carry this bag. I honestly, I don't, I, can you guys see my hand is just hanging here. My arm is just literally, I'm not putting any pressure. That would be putting pressure. I don't feel the need to put any pressure. It just sits there perfectly like a football. I'm, sh I'm amazed and shocked in all the best ways. Oh my gosh, you guys. Maybe this can be an everyday bag. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching my video on my new unboxing and this beautiful new bag. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you guys thinking about picking this bag up? And if you are, did I help you at all? Stay tuned for my first impressions. I am very, 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 very honest. I will tell you guys if this bag has not been functionable for me. I will let you guys know if it's too hard to hold. I will let you know if it's too heavy. Don't forget to leave your questions about this bag down below so that I can do the best first impressions for you guys. Again, I always do a first impressions. I always do an unboxing, then a first impressions, and then a six month review. So once I've had it for some time, I will definitely let you guys know how it has worked for my lifestyle or if it hasn't worked or if I plan on selling it, if I recommend it, if I regret it, all those things, I let you guys know. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys had the best holiday ever. I know when I'm uploading this, it is past Christmas, but today it is Christmas Eve. So I just want to let you guys know that I hope you guys had the best Christmas ever. I do plan on spending my Christmas with my kids all day long and my husband and really just soaking them up and loving on them and kissing them and hugging them and squeezing them. Um, my kids are, you know, they're, my husband and my kids are literally everything for me. Sorry to go on a rant, but they just mean the whole world to me. My girls are like my best friends. My boys are just so cuddly and snuggly and I just love them to pieces. I know that you guys feel the same way about your kids. Oh, there's a fluff. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you have the best Christmas ever. And until next time, bye guys.